disciples, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 10, I am sending you as sheep and the wolves. They understood what it means. Most of the disciples, they went into different countries and they became martyrs. That's where the gospel was spread across the nations. I would like to tell you what happened to me last Sunday, 2008, March 9th. I was traveling by train from Ramasharam towards Chennai by 3rd AC. One of my friend also was traveling. He was supposed to travel by bus, but my wife told him, don't go by bus, but go with the same train. So he was also traveling the same train. In the train, I gave three gospel tracts to three different people. I don't know whether they attacked me or other people attacked me. After some time, a gentleman came and told me, please come outside of the train. We want to discuss about the Bible. The same time he had sufficient place to sit and talk to me. But uh, I didn't go. He compelled me to go. I didn't go. So he went and told his friends he won't come out. So all the people, they rushed into my, uh, uh, near to my seat with full anger. One man was coming with a punching hand and uh, shouted many uh, things and shouted many vulgar words against Jesus. Even there itself, they wanted to kick me. And one man was lifting his legs to kick me. It was went on about five to ten minutes. And some of the wives came and pulled the husband's back. Then the things became normal. After some time, it was at nine o'clock when the train stopped in one of the city called Dindigal. Some of these people got down and they called me through a window. But I was listening a uh, Bible through this uh, uh, city prayer. So they were using a lot of verses, but I couldn't hear everything. But I knew they were so angry. Even though they had called me to come out, I didn't went out. So they entered into the train. They waited till the train went into the full speed. And everybody went to the bed and put off the light. After everybody went to the bed and put off the light, the same group came in. And one man and uh, choked my neck with his left hand and thought, we will throw you out of the train and push me towards the body. With the right hand, he started to punch me. You can see the uh, bleeding and the broken parts of my uh, lips and the blood was coming. I thought the uh, my uh, lower jaw was broken. Then he was beating my chest and his ear and my jaw, jaw was jabbed and the right hand. Then he was, keep on telling we will throw you after train. Then I understood they planned to murder me. Then I had no other choice but pray as Stephen prayed. So as much voice I could lift up, I lifted up and said, Jesus, forgive them. Jesus, forgive them. Jesus, forgive them. Somebody was hearing from other side. So they came and put the light on. Meanwhile, I was trying to put the light on with my hand. They were putting the light off. Again, I was putting the light on. They were putting the light off. From after that, these people came and put them back. And uh, then I called my friend. He also came and joined me in the travel. It is God saved me from severe death. When we read 2 Corinthians chapter 1, we see what kind of tribulations Paul went and told from all this, my Lord saved me. I am one among many go through similar crisis. Many wives become widows. Many children become orphans. Those who go through similar process immediately take care of their body, family. If the car or tape car or computer or washing machine or refrigerator get into repair, may repair it immediately. But a missionary's body more than precious and important. 
and uh, it's, it's my heart lot of my messages I want to write it into books and my missionary challenge books I want to translate into different languages also I want to speak through TV so that many people can listen my wife also beat her. you can see my wife beautiful smile this is not her original truth people beat her and original truth was broken so he had to put plastic to Many people must not be clear, unknown. We have only one life. Let's spread the gospel, which is power to change anyone.